I did not know that. Welcome to another episode of I Did Not Know That. Thanks for stopping by. Ever wonder about something? Maybe you'll find it here. Check out all the other videos on this channel and remember to like and subscribe. If you're a fan of The Andy Griffith Show and Mayberry RFD, you might know that Aunt B was the only original character on the new series to continue appearing on the spin-off. While characters like Goober or Howard Sprague were on The Andy Griffith Show for a long time, they weren't originally on the program. They came at least a few years afterward. Well, it's been a half century since these two classic programs went off the air, and when I began to revisit some of the episodes, I came across something that surprised me. I had not recalled that Aunt B had been written out of the show. While I did remember that Alice Ghostly had come on the program near the end of Mayberry RFD, I hadn't remembered that Ghostly kind of took Aunt B's place as the housekeeper for Ken Berry and his son Mike. So I began to do some digging and tried to piece together why Francis Bavier made such a sudden departure. If you think about it, it's a pretty shocking thing to happen since she was America's favorite aunt and such a central character for over a decade. But that's how television series dealt with things back in those days. They didn't like to focus on it. For example, Pernell Roberts was a central character on Bonanza as Adam, and when he left the show, his absence was briefly mentioned, and then it was almost as if he never existed after that. The very last anyone ever saw of Aunt B was in an episode called The Minabird. Sam's son Mike was watching Howard Sprague's Talking Minabird, and the bird got loose. Aunt B does some running around with Sam and Mike at the very end, returning the bird. Of course, the bird gets back to Howard in time for his TV segment. What did you were going to tell me? Oh, it was just that, uh, well, we have to go to Goober Station. I'll be right back. What you hear is the last moments of Aunt B in Mayberry, and then the very last frame we ever see of Francis Bavier as good old Aunt B. That was the final episode of season two. When season three starts, there simply is no Aunt B. It isn't until the fourth episode called The New Housekeeper where her absence is addressed, for 12 seconds anyway. We see Sam, Goober, and Howard talking about an upcoming flagpole installation ceremony. Yeah. That's great. Gonna be a big day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame Aunt B couldn't be here to see this. Yeah. I got a letter from her, and it looks like she's gonna be staying with her sister for quite a while. Hmm. Too bad, we're sure gonna miss her. Yeah. With that, Aunt B disappeared from the show and was never referred to again in the series as far as I know. Maybe Pernell Roberts needed a housekeeper somewhere. In 1986, she declined to participate in the reunion movie Return to Mayberry, where they did mention that the character of Aunt B had passed on. Changing or replacing actors was something that the powers that be didn't like to talk about in those days. They kept everything pretty close to the vest. I found this article where there's a vague reference about Aunt B by Andy Griffith. It's the summer of 1970, right before season three, and he explains that he'll no longer be making appearances on Mayberry RFD, and then adds a line about the departure of Bavier from the series with no further explanation. So why the abrupt disappearance with really no explanation for someone who'd been a central character of the show for a decade? While I could never find any definite reason, there could be a couple possibilities. She seemed to be in good health, and in fact, I came across an article in 1972 where she was the head of the Tuberculosis and Respiratory Disease Association in her area. Maybe she just didn't want to do the series anymore. She had mentioned that she had to be talked into coming back as Aunt B in Mayberry RFD. A previous video I made showed she had quite a long stage career before The Andy Griffith Show, and she said many times she was tired of people thinking she was Aunt B, so maybe she just decided to leave. Another reason for her departure could be things we've learned since both series ended. Many people who had worked with Bavier through the years said that she was very different than the warm character of Aunt B. She could be very rigid and uncooperative. Andy Griffith said their relationship was very strained and she usually only interacted with him when she did scenes with him. Howard Morris, who played Ernest T. Bass, also directed episodes of the show, and he has stated that directing Francis was like stepping on a landmine. 
He said if you would ask her to move three inches to the right to get in the proper frame, she'd blow a fuse and refuse. One of the last straws may have been when they were shooting an episode of Mayberry RFD called The Racehorse. George Lindsay wrote in his autobiography that they were in between shots while filming and he and some other actors were joking around and Lindsay said he used some bad language. He said Bavier walked over to him and smashed him over the head with her umbrella and scolded him for his language. Lindsay was stunned and said he never said a word back to her and then she hit him over the head again so hard the umbrella bent. He said he never forgave her for that and that Ken Berry saw the incident and was very upset by it too. Barry was now the star of the show and he had become very good friends with Andy Griffith. It makes you wonder if that might have been the beginning of the end. Andy's relationship with Bavier had been difficult for years and while Griffith wasn't appearing on the program anymore, he was still an executive producer of the show. Maybe at the end of the second season, Francis and the show just both decided it was time to part ways. They had a good run together and sometimes things just need to come to an end. We'll probably never know. One closing note, Griffith said that many years after the show ended, he and Ron Howard decided to stop by Bavier's house unannounced. She was furious that they had not let her know first and chewed them out. That was the last time Andy had talked with her until she contacted him as she was dying in 1989. She said she felt sorry for her past behavior and that she wished they had gotten along better. So what do you think? Should they have given Aunt B a bigger send-off, or was it just time to move on? Hey, thanks for coming here and taking the time to watch my channel.